We've started a new adventure, and it's a fitting time to do it because it is exactly one year, almost the day, that, that we finished walking 500 miles across Spain. So Liz, okay. before you launch into um, what's next for us. Almost there. Um, tell me what it was that made you, why did you walk across Spain with me? Uh, you asked. <laughs> That's all it took. But turns out I was looking for an adventure. Uh, I had recently retired from the U.S. Navy uh, after 21 years. And I bought a house in Florida. I thought that that's what you do after you retire. And I was fully retired. And so for three years, I fully retired my ass on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at the end of that three years, I realized that uh, time is too short. Um, I learned that lesson pretty hard uh, from Jen. And uh, it's, it's, it's too short to sit still. So there's too much of the world out there to see. I lost my fiance to cancer in June of 2018. At the time, I was a workaholic and I didn't really understand how short life is. And let me tell you, losing your partner um, at the age of 40 will do that for you. Um, you will learn that life is too short. And that is exactly what happened for me. Um, so I quit my job and I started traveling and I am now a digital nomad. I am lucky to be joined in this adventure with a retired Navy chief who can boss me around. I really like to do that. <laughs> she doesn't really, she doesn't really. Um. <laughs> We started out on our journey walking across Spain um, as friends. We'd been friends for about a decade. Um, good friends, even. But then, when we finished walking 500 miles across Spain, um, we were more like sisters. Yeah, not like sisters. We are sisters now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, you, you've seen each other laugh and cry. <laughs> this is unpleasant. <laughs> You've crawled Pain. under barbed wire fences. Barbed wire. Downer. <laughs> down, down, down. So at that point, we knew if we walk across Spain together, we could do just about anything together. Anything. And apparently, that also includes getting a van, living in a van. <laughs> If you had told me, even two years ago, that I would be living in a van, I would have told you you were insane. But here we are. Here we are. And we're camping and we're loving it. And this is going to be um, our future for the, a little while. That is the long story of how Lizzie and I have come to travel across America in a van. Stay tuned. There will be lots of this. This is the view from our bed. Hashtag woke up like this. <laughs> <laughs> and probably a little bit more of this. We're only four hours into van life here, but um, somehow our diesel tank in the back has come apart and um, dumps diesel all over the van. So it's literally like, I mean, this is just, Diesel for days! Diesel for days.